1994, we've been bringing in various guest artists. And we started out with Liz Lerman, we've had David Dorfman, Sean Coran, Daryl Jones, Rennie Harris, the list goes on. Very few people teach the history along with the technique. And so I feel like I have to incorporate the history to help contextualize the movement itself. So it's sort of a unique way of teaching the class, you know, specifically with, with street dance. In a campus that's this large and this focused on academics, it's the one place where you can really be yourself, be okay with who you are, and be okay with being in your own skin. I have fluency not only in dance, but also in um, video and live processing, Maxim SP and jitter, and text, language. So I kind of bring that a little visual art, a little video art into the work. And that's another thing that's great about CU is that it really embraces kind of the, the hybrid form or the collaboration of dance with other forms. So to be able to connect with the, you know, the new generation here, with the college kid here, that will help us because the college kid, I feel like, make a lot of changes throughout the world, all over the world. So if we can bring this culture to them, so they can be more aware of what's happening outside the United States, not on the inside of the U.S. It just makes great connections, and I've always loved to dance, and I'm very happy that I can still do that in college. Many of the students in this campus uh, have issues with feeling isolated and lost in the sea of humans. So creating an environment where they can feel connected to other people, it's been very fruitful and rewarding. You know, while teaching about African culture, we are actually practicing it. I think it brings a lot of fun because I think that's what it is mostly. I think it's a lot of fun. We're trying to expand our idea of what dance is and what it entails. So uh, it's untraditional and I appreciate that. It really allows people to pursue their own dreams and their own path and they really try to make it happen for you. It's really nice as an artist to come in and have dancers from so many different backgrounds. It encourages a really diverse student population. It's a really interesting approach to dance and dance making and also to performance and also to the purpose and usefulness um, of dance in, in our society and in our culture. Like it recognizes everybody's background as a gift and as part of the conversation and that's really exciting. In this course it's really about you taking away something for your life, you know, that will be meaningful and hopefully that you'll have a practice, something that you can do to keep yourself in a better balanced state and to be freer in your body and your mind.